Welcome back to the channel guys. As you can see on screen here, I have a list of all the terror zones within Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, the way this is going to work is I'm going to rank them on the list, and when I do, I'll briefly go over why I think they should be in the tier that I'm putting them in, and what benefits you get to farming those, how you can kind of make the farming process a little bit quicker. But yeah, let's uh, let's start off. So first up, we have the Ancient Tunnels, and I'm going to put this in A tier. This is a very good farming area without um, the Terrorized Zones. With Terrorized Zones, it doesn't really add too much benefit other than like access to uh, TC87 Uniques. Not to mention, you do have to spend a little bit of time traveling through Lost City in order to find it. But that being said, still a very good farming spot. Always been a good area to farm within Diablo. Now you can get higher level loot from it. You can get Sunder Charms, etc. Which makes it even better. Ancients Way and IC Clear, I'm going to put at C tier. There's some of the mobs in this area can be a little bit bad. The area itself doesn't really have too much to offer. IC Clear is also pretty big. So you're kind of just traveling around more so looking for um, elites. Arcane Sanctuary, I'm also going to put in the A tier. The reason is, is A, there's the Summoner, which is nice. Plus, you get the Key of Hate, so you can always pick it up while you're farming uh, the rest of it. There's also three Super Chests at the end of every wrong way. That, on top of the fact that there's the Ghosty Boys, and the fact that it's not too hard to get there makes it a pretty good farming spot just be careful if you kill the ghosty boys off of the map they won't drop anything so that's the only reason why it's not an s tier ariet plateau and pit of archeon i'm going to put in b tier um it's an act 5 map the mobs are pretty decent there's a good amount of elite packs plus the pit of archeon is fairly easy to, to farm so it's not a it's not a bad area. I wouldn't quite put it near as good as A, but it's definitely somewhere in the high B tier. Black Marsh in the hole. I am also going to put in B tier. Uh, Black Marsh is an okay area, but the hole used to be level eighty four, not level eighty five, but level eighty four area. So it was always a good solid farming spot. Um, I don't think terrorized. Bonus really brings much to this, but it's not a bad place at all. Plus, the hole is usually a bit easier to find. Bloodmoor and Den of Evil, I think, is a terrible one. Maybe D, maybe F. I think I'm going to stick it in the F tier, primarily because, yes, it's the first area. The mobs aren't that great. The quill rats are annoying. Uh, there's a few elite packs, but in Den of Evil, there's only the one super elite, so you're not really, like, getting much benefit out of it. It's ideally not the greatest place to, uh, farm. Bloody Foothills, Fridget Highlands, and Abaddon. Now, this isn't going to be the top one in the S tier, but it is going to be S tier, and the reason for that is, is right next to the, uh, Fridget Highlands waypoint. There is the um, Eldritch, super unique. Purely for that, if you want, you can always go in the game, kill Eldritch, go out, and repeat the process. And you're honestly, these runs will take you like 15 seconds. And so the fact that there's terrorized versions of it will make it even better. You also have Shanked in the Bloody Foothills, that's also close to the white points. So you can always get both the super unique monsters very quickly, reset, do it all over again. Not to mention, if you are farming fully, there's it's an Act 5 area, decent XP. There's a good amount of elite packs, both in Bloody Foothills for Thailand's, and Abaddon is a pretty straightforward place from beginning to end, which you get you know, another like 5 or 6, maybe 7 packs of elites. Makes it a pretty good um, place to farm. Burial Grounds, Krypton Mausoleum. Um... This, I think I'll put in C tier. 
Again, nothing crazy about this. Crypt and Mausoleum were high level areas without it, but the terrorized version doesn't really add anything. You always have to go from whole planes waypoints. So it takes a little bit of travel time. You get to kill Blood Raven, so that doesn't make it too bad. But overall, I don't think it's the uh, most ideal terror zone. Cathedral Catacombs is again going to be S tier because there's a lot of density within um, the catacombs. Plus, if you start off from the inner cloister, you can uh, pick up Bone Ashes, super unique. There's usually a couple packs of elites in there as well that you can pick up. And as you make your way through it, you can um, get a lot of elites on your way to Andariel. Plus, Andariel at the very end is uh is it makes it a very good area to farm i think it would be i think the bloody foothills and eldritch farming is still better but um we'll we'll they're definitely both in the s tier chaos sanctuary is again another s tier one you get to fight this was always a high level area to begin with again you do get um you can always you always know how to get there right away and you can farm Three super uniques, you get to kill Diablo himself, you get a bunch of elite packs outside of that. Not to mention the area is filled with ghosty boys, which have a smaller drop table, which means they have a higher chance of dropping runes than anything else. So, yeah, Sanctuary is definitely S tier, is probably one of my favorite uh, places. And if you really, really want, you can do the seal popping trick or to, to farm it even faster, though, when it is terrorized, just benefiting more from the magic farm, I think, is. Uh, Sorry, from the magic find makes it uh, better so that you don't seal pop it. But either way, this is a very good area to farm. Um, coal plains in the cave. There's a couple elites. Uh, sorry, super uniques. There's a bunch of elites. Six, seven packs in both uh, coal plains and the cave. It's, the map's very spread out, so there's a lot of ground to cover, which makes it a bit uh, more annoying personally so i wouldn't call it a great farming spot i would it's not as bad as bloodmore and den of evil but i think uh d tier is about where it belongs crystalline passage and frozen river again big maps nothing really to it i guess it's an act five map so it's better than cold plains so you can put it in c tier darkwood and underground passage um, kind of the same concept with cold plains in the cave. And the terrorized zone doesn't really bring anything to it. So we'll put that in D tier as well. Maybe slightly better than um, cold plains, but dry hills and halls of the dead. This large area, awkward maps. Um, you're spending more time running around trying to find the elites than you are killing the elites so i don't consider it a very good um, area to find Mo most act one act two and act three maps are not going to be very good in terms of farming there, there's exceptions to that and obviously i'll go over those as we get there endurance of hate i think is another s tier thing if you know the map tricks you can always get from the waypoint if, uh, endurance level three where mephisto is very quickly you can just kill Mephisto, go to Act 4, rinse and repeat. You can also kill the... You have three super unique monsters that you can kill in Endurance if you wish. And the third one, I don't recommend farming 1 and 2, mainly because the Stygian dolls can get you killed very quickly. But uh, from there, you can go to Act 4 and rinse and repeat very quickly. I think it's a phenomenal farming spot. Far Oasis... Same as everything else, big map, elites are few and far in between. You get the same packs as you would in a denser map, so it doesn't make it as good for farming. There's nothing special about it either. <sighs> Flyer Jungle and Flyer Dungeon. I know some people love this map. Uh, I think it's, it's a terrible map, but I will admit to the density with all the shamans. However, in the Flyer Dungeon, there's, again, Stygian Dolls that can get you killed very quickly, especially if you're a melee build. So for that reason, I, it's not a place that I really like farming. And so I'm going to put it in C tier. Glacial Trail and Drifter Cavern, I actually quite like. 
Um, the reason is, is the Drifter Cavern is a very compact square, and it does have between six or seven packs of elites in there. And on top of that, there's also um, two evil urns sometimes, which can give you more packs of elites. There's a magic chest. So the fact that if you once you go to Glacial Trail, if you just quickly go to Drifter Cavern, I think you will uh, find that's a very good farming spot. And you can clear the whole Drifter Cavern within like 45 seconds to a minute, depending on your build, depending on how fast you are. So you can rinse and repeat and get like maybe 40 of these runs covered in an hour, including like travel time, loading time, stuff like that. Great Marsh. F tier, the map's super big. There's nothing special to it. Um, it's just a bad place to farm, really. Jalen Barracks, I'm going to put in B tier, mainly because there's decent density within the um the jail. Plus, you get um, Smith in there as well. So it's not. The worst place, it's not the best place, but it's a decent farming spot if that area comes up. Coorest Bazaar, Ruined Temple, and Disused Fane. I want to say it's slightly better than the Flyer Jungle, maybe like high C tier. But I don't know, the, the mobs in there aren't really great. Like, the zealots tend to, like, run away and shit. So I don't really recommend farming in there if you can avoid it. There's better places that you can farm that just aren't terrorized for all intents and purposes. Um, Lost City, Valley of Snakes, and Claw Viper Temple, I'm going to put it, like, D. Just because it's a long trip to the Claw Viper Temple, you have to find it. And then in there, you get the annoying Claw Vipers that are just not best mobs to uh, to deal with. Uh, next up, Loot Golane Sewers. This isn't bad. You can get there very quickly. The mobs aren't too hard. They don't have too much health. Lots of skeletons. So lifesteal isn't the best in there because most of the stuff's undead, but um, you can just make your way through it all the way to Rodiman, kill him, rinse, repeat. Take a few minutes. Not Not a bad area. Neothlox, Temple, and Halls. Uh, I'm, again, I'm going to put this in S tier because if you know the map tax, you can get the Neothlox very quickly. There's always a lot of density uh, around him. So you don't really need to, uh, like, you know, find him because you'll always know exactly where he is. That is if you know the map tricks. And he can drop the the key of destruction as well as the fact that there's uh you can kill all the elites on the way too so it's really not a bad farming spot you can get the run done in like 45 seconds if you're quick and then just rinse repeat plus you have the pindle option as well that you can either hit up in the same run or you can just do pindle runs either way they're both good farming spots in there outer steeps and plane of despair it's not bad, but it's a very big map, and the ghosty boys are nice, but they're a bit annoying, especially the ones that turn invisible and like run away and shoot lightning at you. And, uh, get a little too much in terms of just like grouping them up and killing them more so than anything else. River Flame and City of the Damp, I'm gonna say is. River of Flame is actually a good spot, so I'm I'm gonna put that in in a tier. City of the Damned is same concept as like Outer Steeps and Plains of Despair. I mean, I can go like here, but um, River of Flame is a good farming spot, so I think that deserves to be in the A tier. Rocky Waste and Stony Tomb, same concept as like these. Not much to it. Like Blood of, Blood More and Den of Evil is probably the worst, but. Um, out of these, nothing really special about them. I wouldn't farm them. Same with Spider Force and Spider Cavern. Spider Cavern is not bad, so I'll put, I'll put that in D tier because if you do go and like just beeline to the to the cavern, 
it's a nice uh tight map and you can just kill all the elites and just get out that's not bad stony field again big map but it does have um a Kanishu in there as well as where you can uh hit up tristan real quick pick up like words lag or just clear tristan really quickly as well Talrasha's tombs and Talrasha's chambers. I'm gonna put high high B, low A. Let's put it for low A tier because there's seven of them. You always know where they are. You don't really need to go looking for them. On top of that, Talrasha's chamber has Duriel in it, so you can get um, a bit higher chance for loot from him. All in all, you're killing for a full run. If you're killing all seven like tombs and everything, you're killing like maybe. 40 50 packs of elites so that's a decent amount in the same run plus durio himself it does take a long time though to go through all of them but it's it's pretty decent farming spot just be careful bring some lightning res for the scarabs and that's about it forgotten tower is again a very good area i it's, it's not amazing because you do have to go to black marsh and you have to like find it which isn't like overly hard, but the place itself, there's you can get all the elites along the way. If you know the map tricks, you can get the countess very quickly. She has a higher chance for rune drops than pretty much anything else in the game. In a terrorized zone, I believe she can drop pretty much every rune in the game as well. So that makes it a very good spot on top of the fact that you can get the key of terror. Is um is very nice. The pit again is going to go like high A tier. I'm going to say because pit circles love it for one it's always been a decent farming spot even without it you can get to it pretty quickly from the outer cloister so i think it deserves to be in the a tier cal level is probably going to be high uh, i wouldn't put it above gas sanctuary but let's let's put a little bit of order here it's kind of how I see them, but uh, yeah, the cow level, a lot of density. The only reason I don't consider it the best is because you do have to make the trip to Tristram every time, so that wastes a little bit of your time while you have to go and get the word slag every time you're doing a run. I personally find it a little bit annoying. It's the main reason I don't do them, but as if it's a terrorized zone, it's definitely like worth doing. Not to mention just the fact that density alone is a good chance for getting high runes. Always, always a good farming spot. Secret cow level is definitely up there. Dravinkle, low S to A. I'm going to put it low S tier because from the waypoint, you know exactly where the high council is. You can always kill, and sometimes there's an extra elite pack like on the way or like right around there that you can pick up as well. You always get good gold from them. They have a decent chance of dropping like rare items as well as runes. So I think traveling gold deserves to be um, high S. Or sorry, low S tier. Very good farming spot. Tristram, I'm going to put somewhere around here. The reason I like Tristram is yes, you have to go to Stonyfield and find the uh, portal. So that there's a little bit of travel time, but the area is very small. There's always five to six packs of elites and champions in there that you can just quickly burst through, get the loot, rinse and repeat, start the game, do it all over again. So you're killing a lot of elites in a very quick time. I think that's uh, worth note. Realm Stone Keep, last but not least, Thorn of Destruction and the World Stone Chamber is, of course, going to be... I'm going to put it below the Chaos Sanctuary, purely because you have to wait in between the waves for bail to summon them and you're wasting time but um the mobs in there even though they're pretty bad they're probably the highest xp in the game you more so in the terrorized zone so i think it deserves um it's not the first but i think it's definitely a very close to chaos sanctuary and that's it for all the zones in the game there's not much really to say otherwise. This is, again, my personal list. If you guys have a different ideas or different opinions or you like certain areas to farm, you should always farm them. The whole point is to enjoy the game. If you do find that um, some of the lists, some of the zones that you like farming are low on this list, let me know in the comments below. 
why why you like them what do you get from there what makes you want to farm those areas i'd love to hear from you but anyways that's going to be it for this video guys as always my social media information is in the video below if you found this helpful please like the video maybe subscribe to the channel as it will help me out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one